Back in this country, a high-stakes meeting between President Biden and China's President Xi marks a resumption of conversations at the highest level between the two countries. And that is a bedroom in Iowa, where Xi stayed decades ago. Stephen Fabian with more on a friendship across the miles. It was quite the grand gala last night, and the guest of honor wasn't some power broker or big shot. It was this lady from a small town say. in Iowa. It's a strong bond of friendship. Sarah Landy has known China's President Xi for 40 years, ever since he visited Muscatine, Iowa, to learn about, get this, hog farming. It was 1985. She was a 32-year-old lowly civil servant. Sarah was the local official in charge of hosting his delegation. The town's only hotel was full, so Sarah reached out to her friends to house the Chinese visitor. Their son Gary had just left for college, so she she stayed in Gary's room. This was early 80s, green shag carpeting, uh, you know, the, 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 the famous Star Trek models from when I was a little kid. It was definitely not a uh, luxury. My mom cooked him breakfast. In the evening, they sat together and talked. Why do you think that President Xi has maintained this connection to Muscatine, Iowa? He remembers the warm feeling he had in 1985, and when we had an opportunity to greet him and shake his hand, there's just a smile that won't stop. The feeling just keeps growing. President Biden lauded the summit outcome, but in response to a reporter's question, he still called Xi a dictator. Would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is a guy who runs a country that is a communist country. Watch Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's reaction. Is that a wince as he anxiously wrings his hands? Sure enough, the Chinese fired back, calling the dictator remark extremely wrong and irresponsible.